यू नो पावर बी आई बट स्टिल यू हैव लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन योर माइंड हाउ डज इट हैपन वाई इट हैपन्स हाउ कैन आई डू दैट दिस इज द सीरीज फॉर यू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ एफसेक सी सी सीरीज एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ कैन वी क्रिएट सब कैटेगरी इंडेक्स और सब कैटेगरी रैंक और वी ऑल्सो कॉल इट नेस्टेड रैंक सो देर इज अ वीडियो फ्रॉम कर्बल ऑलरेडी ऑन दिस टॉपिक अराउंड सब कैटेगरी इंडेक्स सो दैट्स द इंस्परेशन फॉर दिस वन सो आई एम गोट टू गिव द लिंक ऑफ द ओरिजिनल वीडियो देर सो यू कैन रेफर दैट सो वी आर गोइंग टू फॉलो दैट टेक्निक एंड गोइंग टू गेट बोथ द इंडेक्स कॉलम एज वेल एज द रैंक कॉलम एंड वी हैव लर्न ऑलरेडी दिस फंक्शन वट वी आर गोइंग टू यूज इन द करंट सीरीज विच इज गोइंग इन द बिगनर सीरीज सो प्लीज वॉच द वीडियोज इन द बिगनर सीरीज हाउ वी कैन एड द इंडेक्स कॉलम एंड हाउ कैन वी एड द रैंक कॉलम बिकॉज वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दैम हेयर टूडे सो द फंक्शन आई एम ऑल्सो गोइंग टू शो यू लिटल बिट बट लेट्स जम्प आउट द पावर बी आई एंड इन पावर बी आई लेट मी क्रॉस द पावर क्वेरी फर्स्ट आई ऑलरेडी ओपन द पावर क्वेरी बट आई एम क्लोजिंग इट एंड वी आर गोइंग टू ओपन द पावर बी आई अगेन एंड गोइंग टू गो टू द पावर क्वेरी सो बिफोर वाइल वी आर डूइंग दिस स्टफ लेट मी शो यू द टू फंक्शन विच आई एम प्लानिंग टू यूज सो द टू फंक्शन विच आई एम प्लानिंग टू यूज इज टेबल डॉट एड रैंक कॉलम ऑलरेडी वी हैव डिस्कस दिस फंक्शन इन टू द बिगनर सीरीज एंड एड टेबल इंडेक्स कॉलम ना वॉट हैपन्स इन द सब कैटेगरी सो वी वी मैड एव शोन इन द पास्ट बेसिकली हाउ कैन वी Uh, you know deal with the table uh, like you know having t- across table operation and all those using the row select but the challenge with these index column and the rank column there are table level operation so uh, we need to give a complete table and then they are going to give the column add the column into that table so what it means is basically i need to divide my table uh, into the partitions or the in the portion and in that portion i need to do these operations so for that what we are going to do is let me go to the power um, Uh, bi now i am on the power bi i am going to the home tab and i am going to go to the transform data and inside the transform data what i am going to do is i i have couple of tables which is already there with me and like take the example of this table where i have the name subject and marks and in this table let's say i want to add the sub category index based on the name so what i am going to do is i am going to click on the name and i'll go to the uh group by option so in the transform i have option this transform i have this option group by okay under the transform i have option group by okay i already selected it name column here with the selection i am going it and when i press the group by now it's already show me name and here it's going to show me count or any column name i'm going to keep it as it is and instead of using any operation i'll say all rows it will disable the column here and now i'm going to press okay so what i have done here is i have used all rows i am grouping on the name this is the name inside which i want the sub category indexes and i'm going to press the okay button so let me do that now and once i press okay you will see that this entire stuff converted into the table now this is a table inside this table i can add an index so let's look at this table this is how this table looks like it has name subjects and marks it has all the rows so now what we need to do is add column we are going to do the add column and we were going to say index so how do we are going to do that table dot add index column is the function and in the add index column we need to give the table and the count itself is a table right now so i can give a table here now the second thing is we need to give a index column which i am going to call is sub index then we the third argument which we need is and why it is not suggesting because table is twice here that's why it is not suggesting so let me press comma now initial value is 1 incremental value is the next thing which is asked as 1 and column data type uh, we can give a data type if you want let's say int 64 dot type we can give that okay so we got this one and we press okay now i got another table and if i press on this table you can see the numbers are coming inside now once i do that after that i can actually go ahead and delete this particular column the older one i can remove and i can expand this one and while expanding i can remove this original column name in fact i can even remove the name which is we already have and let me expand it so now you got these indexes which is there now indexes are not based on any lo- means it's just based on the row order 
it's not based on the logic of like say mark or the subject or the ordering of that so that's the reason we might require a rank column okay so what we can do here is i'm going to go to the other table and now i wanted to have the rank column so again we are going to do the same operation now in the previous one what we could i have done is basically while while i added the index column or maybe what we can do here is basically we don't expand this table uh uh and while we have this added cut in column we can actually do one more operation on the same column basically and we could actually do one thing here is basically let me show you i i would like to do the two operations on this so i'll say let and i'll call it tab 1 let's say tab 1 equal to this one comma on the tab 1 i want to do another operation which is tab 2 which is equals to table dot add rank column okay and let me remove this so i got this table tab 1 here which is the same column okay now i say underscore tab and then the new column name which i can call as rank or sub rank then the comparison criteria now let, let's look at the uh, syntax here now to do this rank one because so we need to give the rank column name and then we can say descending and kind we can there are three four values which we can use in this one so at least let's take this one okay uh so we are going to take these values as is but we are going to change those values so here uh, we don't have a revenue column here what is the column name we have so our column names were marks if you if i remember correctly so marks and we can go and check in inside the code before we expand and uh, so we give marks here and the angular bracket and order descending and rank kind and it's giving okay it's it's so what we can do after that enter and we say in and after in we can enter again we have to give in the small enter and we have to give a space sometimes so that it and let me and let me return underscore tab 2 okay now i still get this one let's see what we are getting now you can see the rank column is also added so instead of you know adding the sub index and then adding the rank and we don't want to do grouping at together so we got this sub table inside the sub table i have given the index as well as rank so rank is coming based on the marks you can see the highest mark and when you create the rank it actually do sort that table based on the rank so that is why you should do index first not the rank first you should do the index first because it's going to keep the natural order which was there before this step otherwise after this one if you do the index you might actually end up getting the same order okay so that's why i have done the first index and then the rank okay now rank you have few more options like if you go and want to explore here so here you have rank rank kind dot you know competition dance dance rank you means if you know dance rank we have this dance rank basically uh if the rank uh, the numbers is having the same rank so you, now you can see this is same rank 1 1 and uh, the next rank is coming 4 so instead of that if i want 3 let's say so if you see the table below 1 1 2 let me highlight that so if you see 1 1 and there are two rank which is 2 so after that i am not getting 3 i am getting 4 so that is competition but i can do one thing here is i can keep it dense so once i keep it dense it is like skip rank and the dense rank in the dax so now i'm going to do the dense rank then i will go and when i look at it i think uh, this was okay so now here also you can see 1 1 then 2 3 so basically the even though the uh, rank repeats 1 2 2 2 if it repeats i'm still getting the next rank which is 3 okay so that dense rank now i think we are all fine so now i can go ahead and remove this column okay now i'm going to expand that i'm going to remove the name from here and in one go i got both the index sub index and the sub rank so similarly those where are the table level operation we have run so many table level operation in the beginner series and you want to do them at the sub table level or the partition ta table on a particular table where the grouping can give you the table and then you can do those operation so go ahead and try all those operations out in this such manner and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you
Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.